We need to find the third man. There's no way Amanda Holden will shag just two of us. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out bad things to say at a wedding. This is Mock the Week. Let's go. And cause scenes we'd like to see. This is for everyone. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. Okay. I caught ideas for scenarios we'd love to see. And the performers come in with their suggestions. <laughs> okay, here we go. The first subject is unlikely lines from a thriller. Michael, Peter, David, Vladimir. I think we may have a spy in the organization. <laughs> Give me the Pentagon, then the triangle, and then the square. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Ah, oh, pussy galore, Bond here. Pussy. I've been told by my doctor that I need to contact all previous partners. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of this motel dresses up as his mother and stabs people. But the guidebook says it's still better than the Ibis. <laughs> I want you to go to Warsaw, meet a man called Borislav. You will then ask him why he didn't fix my plumbing before he left for home. <laughs> Miss Scarlet looked at him through the window. He had one massive testicle like a space hopper. <laughs> that was why they called him Professor Plum. <laughs> This is no ordinary pen, Bond. Turn it upside down, the woman's clothes drop off and you can see a pen. Red or green, red or green, which do I cut? Come on, they're only peppers. How long is this salad going to take? We need to find the third man. There's no way Amanda Holden will shag just two of us. <laughs> that was crazy. Nah, that was mad. Nah, I can't believe he actually said that. I'm Amanda Wood with Shag, two of us. The balls. Two of us. <laughs> Here's... Simon. <laughs> the Orient Express has been cancelled. However, there was a murder on the temporary Orient replacement bus. <laughs> I have amnesia. The tattoos on my body will tell me what happened. Dara was here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd been a serial killer for four years, but they'd never given me a nickname. Then, you bite one guy in the ass, <laughs> and suddenly you're the butt muncher. Ah, <laughs> oh, the butt muncher's got me! The butt muncher's got me! OK, the next topic is... Quality. Bad things to say at a wedding. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Don't, get that one. Don't worry, the vowels are simple. Just repeat after me. Eeny, meeny, macaraca, rare ride, dominaca, chicka, bocca, lollipop, rom, pom, push. <laughs> And we will now sing hymn number 225. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> when John went down on one knee, I wish I'd known that he was having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to thank Elsie for the flowers. It was her funeral I nicked them from. <laughs> so your best man's in an absolute state. That's my mum. <laughs> Morning, now, though. it's my job to tell some amusing stories about <laughs> Gavin. So, first of all, for a kickoff, he's a hermaphrodite. <laughs> my bride always wears white. Isn't that right, Dolly? Bear! <laughs> <laughs> now, Carol's family have always had their doubts about me. So, first of all, let me explain why I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first gay wedding, so you must be the pretty one. <laughs> to my new son-in-law, I would say this. You have released me, this monster is yours now. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to apologise for the state of my clothes and the smell of sick only I spent last night in a skip. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> That's good. People have said to me, why have you stopped being a bachelor after so long? And I uh, say, well, look at her. She's wealthy and she's dying. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a traditional Norfolk wedding without a speech from the father of the bride and groom. <laughs> Bro. Is that what happens in Norfolk? You guys, is that true? Let me know, please. The end of that round, the points go to Frankie Hugh and Stewart. Right, that was quality. That was really good. That was really good. I feel like I definitely have to do more Mock the Week. I like all this shock boss comedy. I like it. I like it. It's more like a Jimmy Kaka kind of stand up, you know, that kind of style. Quick, 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 one line. I love that. Yeah, if you guys want to see more, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.